Testing, testing, one, two, and a trois. All right, I think this is the 20th take. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and the metaverse. Now, today's a little bit of a special episode and very exciting one also, as we're here to talk about China's answer to the metaverse. As a couple of days ago, they released their own, their own app called Sirong, with some of the technology that they're using, which is pretty incredible, including a world's first AI inside of VR to potentially spread as the title suggests, propaganda. But first, guys, let me remind you that tomorrow you'll be able to enter to potentially win a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP, as well as a brand new pair of cyber shoes, $50 voucher that you can redeem for your Meta Oculus Quest store, as well as your Viport or SteamVR store, and much, much more. And wait, watch until the end of the video, as today we will announce the two lucky winners that can go to the VRCover.com's website and pick any item that they want up to 29 euros or 29 US dollars. So do make sure to enable the bell after you subscribe to be notified as to how to enter tomorrow for the Cyber Shoes and HP Reverb G2 and the US dollars, 50 US dollar voucher to the keys and more. All right, so let's transition over to the next screen because this guy is really exciting. You gotta see this, it's pretty cool. Uh, let me just go first here. So this is uh, the South China Morning Post who did a video. I will have to cut the sound, unfortunately, because I will be flagged for, for basically for copyright stuff. So sorry about that. Uh, let me just move my screen very quickly. Okay, there we go. And then let me just click play. It's not very long. So Chinese search engine Baidu. Basically, Baidu is the equivalent to... Um, uh, it's exactly the same, basically, as uh, Google. It's the same thing, but it's the China version. Of course, China have 1.3 or 1.5 billion user, billion people, sorry, uh, not VR users. Ooh, that'd be that'd be incredible. Um, yeah, 1.5 billion people over there. So they unveiled, unveiled the first metaverse platform, and we're going to talk about several different things, including, you know, what it means in terms of the government, the data, the data, the database, the privacy, you know, all these things, we'll talk about it as we go along in this video. Um, so basically, this is actually footage from inside of the, uh, the actual app, but I'm going to show you, we're going to talk about also the comparisons for between what's available in the Western world and what's available in the China world. But look at this already, guys. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. But honestly speaking, for me, uh, someone who's used to VR and been doing VR for, for quite some time, uh, this is going back about, I would say, three years. This is version 2.0 of VRChat to me. It doesn't look like it's super developed. It doesn't look like the graphics are super amazing. Um, I think if you go into NEOS today, uh, frankly speaking, it will be much more impressive than something like this. If you go into VRChat, in fact, it will be much more impressive than something like this. But this is their first app. So this is what they have launched so far. And Wrong basically means in English, land of hope. So, you know, they're very, the Chinese are very emotional people. They like emo stuff. They like things that have meaning. They're all about a feng shui. They're all about lucky numbers. Uh, you know, the double eight number, the nine number, which is even more lucky, or triple nine. Uh, you know, all these kind of things. So there's a lot of meaning in terms of the words that they use and the names that they use in what they do in things. So the platform can be accessed via... They say VR goggles, of course. Please get it right, South Morning Showing Post, South Morning... Uh, China Post, that would be really good. It's called VR Headset. Now, at the moment, they have a collaboration with the Pico VR Headset, uh, which is the Pico Neo 3 Pro, which is this one here. So let me show you. So we have it here. And I will talk about the differences between the, the Pico Neo 3 Pro in China and the Pico Neo 3 Pro outside of China, if you were to buy outside of China, because there are a lot of differences there. Um, so... So basically at the moment, if you want to watch it in VR in China, you have to have the Pico uh, Neo 3 Pro or the Neo 3 Pro i. There isn't another one. So this allows you to use basically uh, to go inside and also create avatars, uh, interact with other players. Now this is the very first time guys, there is another platform um, that is allowed to be accessed in China, which is Allspace. Allspace is not banned in China. When I, by the way, uh, disclaimer, I've lived in China for about eight years. I know what it's like to live there. I've got a lot of friends in China. Um, you know, I'm very used to the life and all, all these kinds over there, all these kind of things over there. So when I brought my Oculus Meta Quest, uh, my Oculus Meta Go, um, before I bought the Oculus Meta Quest 1, uh, back in the day, this was two years ago, I was actually able to go on all space inside of China. 
without using any VPN or anything like that. So I know that it is possible for Go users to use alt space, or it was possible, perhaps they've banned it now, I'm not quite sure. Um, but as you can see, in terms of the graphics, it looks very similar um, than, you know, I, I would say something, uh, maybe VRChat in the Quest version. Maybe VRChat in the Quest version. It kind of looks like this is possible. So uh, developers are able to build uh, within this world. Now, the difference is that within, within this actual app, you can't travel, apparently, to different worlds at the moment. They only build one huge world, and then they have sub-worlds where people can go but as far as I know, I will do a little bit more research. You can't actually create your own worlds yet and then teleport to those worlds. That's my understanding of it. Uh, I will go and read a bit later on. We'll, we'll go on, on you know, another thing uh, just to confirm this. But as far as I know from all the footage and the things I've currently read, um, you, you cannot create your own worlds at this moment in time, but developers can start to develop and create things to go within it. So how are they going to moderate the different worlds? How are they going to implement the different worlds? This again is something that's going to be quite difficult to answer because of course the government in China regulate absolutely everything. And this of course is the answer, uh, you know, the reason why the, 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 the Chinese government are pro this is because, uh, and this is what we'll talk about in just a minute, um, is basically because they can regulate the people. Like for example, if you take a plane to China, the first thing you're going to do when you arrive to the airport, you need to scan all your hands, all your fingers, not just scan your ticket say you arrived or write something and give to the air. No, no, no. They need you to scan all your fingers, your, your whole two hands. Boom. You got to scan them. They take your fingerprints of every finger on your hand. And even, I can't remember if it's the palm of your hand also, but I know it's every single finger of your hand. So they're very controlling. They have a credit system, of course. Uh, they're very known for the cameras, uh, the street cameras to be able to pick up things. They've developed AR technology that is far more advanced than anything else that's available currently in the world. They can tell who you are, your gender, your everything about you just by scanning your face uh, when you're walking down the street or going inside of a shop. Right, I'm just saying. So this makes perfect sense because it's another way to basically control the population, uh, try to make sure that they're not talking about certain topics. Uh, if they are, they're going to have to uh, enforce certain regulations, which they already do in certain so certain social media. Uh, for example, WeChat, which is the equivalent of uh, Facebook, you know, uh, in 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 China, and they close down groups. So this is the other thing: how are they going to moderate all the various different worlds, the various different groups? There's going to be a lot of different communism regulations uh, where you won't be able to have anything about uh, LGBT. TQ, anything about certain population of, of China or outside, um, certain religious beliefs, you know, all these kind of things will, I would say, probably uh, be completely banned and a big no-no in terms of what you're able to create inside of the metaverse and what you won't be. So that's, that's one thing I think is going to be very interesting to see how that develops. Um, but going back to here, I mean, this is really amazing, guys. This is a world first where you can have up to 100 thousand people in one single space. Now this is unheard of. There is no platform currently available in the Western world, whether it's Rec Room, whether it's VRChat, whether it's Neos, whether it's anything else, nothing, even all space, nothing enables you, nothing enables you. Let me repeat, excuse me. Nothing enables you to host 100,000 people in one world. Not possible. Impossible at the moment. At the moment, the highest that you can go when you're doing an event especially is about 20 people and then you have to clone every single world if you're doing an event in order to host those 20 people one by one. These guys are proposing 100,000 people. Now guys, I don't have to let you know how, if, you, if you're not familiar, China is a super advanced country when it comes to technology, there are leaps and bounds way ahead of a lot of things uh, when it comes to the, uh, compared to the Western world. Uh, let's, not, let's not forget that they invented paper, they invented the, 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 the pistol, uh, the gunpowder, you know, all this kind of stuff. I mean, the Chinese are pretty good at what they do, you know, I'm just saying they're pretty good at what they do. It's pretty amazing that the fact that they can pull off 100,000 people inside of one world, it is on 
heard of. That is 10% of their population. Now, they're saying that Baidu will take about six years before they want to reveal their final version of the metaverse. Can you imagine six years from now what they're going to be able to do if already today, as a first version, they can already host 100,000 people inside? Just frigging absolutely crazy. I mean, look at this. 100,000 people. They put 100,000 bots in here just to get this shot. It is absolutely crazy, guys, because they are literally like, for example, if we go to very quickly, let me show you this. Uh, okay, can I please? Okay, there we go. Let me show you this. If you go to the VR Essential, uh, sorry, uh, if you go to my website, lazysk.com, not the VR, sorry about that, guys, uh, but let me just show you. So, okay, if I go to hologram, this is an event that we did using holographic projection technology uh, with the creator of the, and the previous executive producer of the Billboard Music Awards. Uh, so he's, let me just show you very quickly. So that's me. And this is Rick Garson after me, come on. So this is him here. So he's the creator, um, He's the Billboard Music Awards creator and previous executive producer. So now this event that you can go to my website and check out all the details are here. If you go to the press, so he's giving an interview here uh, to the press. So this, this press, the, the press here that's actually interviewing him here is actually the same press. These guys interviewing him is the same people uh, from that, that did the report on here. So if I go, uh, Okay, so if I go to the press section here, okay, there we go, press section. And we go to the news report. Okay, I'll go to a different one, which is uh, called CG CGT CGTN, which is owned by Channel Central Television. Now, CGTN, this is the event that we did. Um, you know, they have millions and millions of people who watch all the news reports, like millions. I'm talking like literally 400 million people saw this news report when we did this in China. It was absolutely crazy. So, uh, and then I'm here. So just let me skip. There we go. That's me here. So this is the, you can go to my website and check out all the report. It was really, really awesome. Really cool stuff. Um, so I'm just, and then here I am as well, again, just giving an interview. So this was before the, the VR uh, essentials day. So uh, what I'm trying to tell you guys is that these news reports, China has 1.5 billion people inside. And when you have a news report, you literally have 400 million people watching, stuck to their TV, watching a news report. So when you have 100,000 people inside of a world, it is very doable. The moment that this thing becomes uh, 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 mainstream in China and people start to, this is why, guys, the, um, this is why the Pico Neo 3 Pro in China is market leading. I mean, this brand, this Pico is owned by ByteDance. Remember that it's owned by ByteDance, who are based in China. So the Pico Neo 3 Pro is a huge deal in China. It's not the best VR headset in China, by the way. Uh, just, a, just a sidetrack again, very, very quickly before we go back to the report. The, the monster at the moment is the Ichi Chiyu 3, which is 2160 by 2160 resolution. That is better than the uh, 1920 resolution uh, Pico Neo 3 Pro, and it's also a standalone VR headset, and it's 95 horizontal by 90 uh, degrees vertical in, uh, in, in field of view, which is better than, the, better than the Pico Neo 3 Pro. And, and also, well, I don't believe the weight's 100 grams. I don't believe it is. But at the end of the day, it is sixed off, and it is more powerful than the Oculus Quest Meta Quest 2. It is more powerful than the Oculus Meta Quest 2. It is absolutely amazing, this thing. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Um, and it also has a Snapdragon, Snapdragon XR2. So guys, I'm just saying that at the end of the day, when it comes to China, to put 100,000 people inside of one world, no problem, no problem. You have hundreds of millions of people watching shows in China all the time who are glued behind their TV. This is the world's first, guys. This is really amazing. Users can explore beautiful nature and different attractions in Xirong. 
Now, they probably use C because Xi Jinping, the, the, the president of China, I would imagine, and then they found a word that coexists both the meaning of the beauty and the meaning from, from his name, I, I, would, I would imagine. I can see that there are a bit of bugs because when she's moving, there's like a purple screen, a purple glitch there. I mean, the graphics to me are honestly are not great. I don't think it's very well done. I think it's, it looks very much like an Oculus Meta Quest 2 version of the VR chat uh, and, and maybe not even as good as that, to be honest with you. I, I'm not impressed at all with the graphics, but I am impressed with the fact that you could put 100,000 people inside. That is just absolutely crazy, absolutely mad. Um, it's unclear as to what you can do with the avatars, if you can do, get them dancing. It's unclear as to whether what you can talk about inside the worlds are censored. Uh, here's another part of the world. So I guess this is another world where you can actually teleport. So it is possible perhaps to teleport to various different worlds, maybe. Or maybe he's inside of one of the temples. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, it's going to be used for the same thing as it's used, you know, inside of the Western world, right? Which is exhibitions, uh, communication, uh, cross-collaboration, uh, spying on people, you know, finding out what they're talking about, uh, you know, all these kind of things. But I'm very curious as to how they're going to regulate conversations, how they're going to reg regulate the themes, uh, all these kind of things. Apparently, there's a game where you can jump and... and um, and stuff and then this is a world where you can see the landscape and everything so they have a, a basic locomotion inside um, okay so you can teleport to different areas all right um, but but again it's going to be very I'm going to be very curious so it's going to be used for gaming, entertainment, education, advertising, conferences, and exhibition. A hundred thousand people, guys. It is absolutely, absolutely crazy. Now let's go to the website because this is what I want to talk about today. Um, they have the world's first guy. This is not, okay, I can't say it's not, um, but Meta Horizons, Horizon Worlds has not announced at this moment in time that they have uh, AI avatars. Allspace has not announced, even though it's owned by Microsoft, that they have AR avatars inside. Now, AR avatars, to me, uh, personally speaking, do leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If, if you think it's weird to you to think of the idea that one day you'll be talking to people in VR who are not real. They'll be avatars. That means you think you're talking to someone like a friend of yours. It's not, it's not a real person. And you friend someone and then you go back in and you talk to them again. It's not a real person. <laughs> it's not a real person. <laughs> I can understand AR avatars used for events like, hello, please go there to register. Or if you want to do FAQs, hi, what's your question? How can I help you? I can understand if you have AR, AR avatars for that kind of stuff. But AR avatars who potentially you can talk to about personal things like hey did you see the latest movie and they'll be like yeah i saw the latest movie the matrix resurrections yeah it wasn't really for me did you like it yeah i really liked it and do you see that scene and you have these conversations and you think it's a real person but it's not it's not it's an ai now the other thing is of course I've lived in China, as I mentioned before, China being a communist party, um, they're definitely going to use AR bots for spreading pro propaganda. For sure, they're going to spread messaging about uh, what people should do, what they should talk about. The bots will probably decide what topics of conversations to start off with. Uh, they'll, talk, they'll probably uh, decide, uh, they'll probably be monitoring you as well. They'll probably have the bots around. That's probably how they can be monitoring people as well. The bots will have algorithms that can pick up the conversations and know exactly what people are talking about. Uh, or they'll be able to lower the credit of someone or up the credit of someone or... Uh, God knows, God knows, God knows. But guys, it is for sure. I think AR, uh, sorry, artificial intelligent VR bots will be used as a form of propaganda uh, to spread messaging and also to control the population uh, and, and, and make sure that they don't try to overtake the government or whatever. I mean, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this because this, if I just make it bigger very quickly, 
um, and is here, smart interaction, intelligent avatar, intelligent voice assistant, virtual map navigation, and hidden Baidu artificial intelligence technology eggs. I mean, really, really crazy stuff. You know, they have AI virtual assistants inside of this app, which means AI bots. AI virtual assistants is a bot, right? It's a bot. It doesn't matter what you call them, what they are, what you give them a fancy name, it's a bot. B-O-T, robot, bot. So that's going to be very interesting whether they're going to be used to spread propaganda or not, uh, or whether they can be used, I don't know, I, I can't say anything. But guys, this is really what I wanted to talk about. Now, if you want to register for it, it will be available. Uh, it is available on, um, excuse me, I have a little something there. It is available on, people can access it via the phone. They can access it via, uh, wait, let me just, People can access it via the phone, or they can access it on the PC, they can download it on the PC, or of course they can access it uh, inside of the Pico Neo 3 Pro. Now Baidu had their own VR headset by the way, but it's a crappy headset. It's a three off worth a thousand or so US dollars, I guess, or just under a thousand US, uh, sorry, um, 3000 RMB. Yeah, 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 that's right. About uh, 600 US dollars for a three dollar headset. Isn't that crazy? Uh, let me just go to c.com and just check that to be sure. Uh, so amount from uh, CNY, which is 3,000 to US dollars. Yeah, 540 US dollars for a crappy three dwarf headset, guys. So um, if you money, if you have money to burn and you really uh, just want to have it as a collector's item, then you can purchase uh, that that uh, you know that that. Here we go. This one here. Um, I, I personally would not advise it. Of course, uh, it's a crappy crappy thing. It's three dwarf. Uh, it's got one controller and it's really really expensive. Uh, but the Ichi does look extremely extremely interesting. Uh, I must admit. Um, and then also you do need a, uh, by the way, I did try to register, but unfortunately because my mobile phone, my Chinese mobile phone uh, doesn't work anymore here in Singapore, you need a mobile phone number based in China, not just a China, China VPN. You need a China VPN. People from the Western world will need to get a China VPN, which basically means a fake China IP address. And then if you want, you can get a friend in China to help you uh, to register using their phone or they can buy a SIM card for you. And then just say, hey, okay, I'm about to register. Can you be by your phone so you can give me the code? And then boom, you can be inside a ByteDance. I might try doing that, see if it works. Um, but you know, it is a way of, of basically getting into there, infiltrating yourself into there and see what it's like if you're outside of um, China but otherwise it is closed off to the world other than China themselves uh, so yeah so this is really all I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, let me just try to see if I, f if I can find an article uh, so see wrong Baidu Baidu here we go uh, let me try to find a proper Yeah, let me go here, CMPC, CMCP, uh, because this is, uh, okay, so they actually put the video, so never mind. Let me go to CNBC, generally they, they report quite well. Um, so answer to the metaverse, yes. So they basically invested 10 billion US dollars uh, in investment in the next year to, uh, but this is the metaverse in general, I don't think, Okay, so this is, uh, they're talking about Facebook. Okay, so that's nothing to do with Beijing, okay. Um, so they began last December, so it's taken them a year to get to where they are. However, it's gonna take them another six years. Let me just make it bigger. There we go. So it will take them another six years. Um, there's nothing really, Beijing also enacted a new data privacy law this year, and they say that policymakers are trying to address income inequality issues while supporting innovation-driven growth. Um, the Chinese government has cracked down on alleged monopolistic practices by Chinese internet tech giants, 
uh, with fines and new regulations in the last 18 months. Okay, well, let's see, let's see what happens with that because I think it seems to me like Baidu is going to have the monopoly at this moment in time uh, since no one else at the moment has come up with something remotely uh, as good as that. And Baidu own uh, so many other companies as well. So it's a bit of the meta over there in China uh, when it comes to uh, undercutting the market and also monopoly. So that's going to be an interesting thing to see. And also the president is very much pro Baidu. So very interesting to see how exactly they're going to crack down on Baidu. Uh, I think it's in Baidu's favor more than anyone else's favor, to be honest with you. Um, okay, so it was, com it was founded 22 years ago. Uh, okay, nothing, nothing much, nothing other than what we spoke about, guys, to be honest. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the winner of the VR.coms, the two winners of the VR.com competition. So let me just transition transition over again one moment. So guys, by the way, you're so awesome. Thank you so much. We had 666 impressions, 470 actions, and almost 200 of you actually participated. So first of all, uh, I think a big round of applause to you guys. Well done. Fantastic job. Big pat on the back. You guys have showed up. I'm really proud of you. I really am very proud of you. And now I'm going to announce the winners. So I pick completely randomly. I didn't really look. I just click, 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 pick, 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 pick. That's it. Done. Uh, so very random. I don't know the, the winners. They're not related to me. I got no idea who they are. Um, so I would like to winner number one is Kelly Woods. So Kelly, uh, let me see if I can. Kelly Woods. So key. I will put the name down in the description, of course. Okay. So Kelly Woods. And the second winner is Craig Sonis. So Kelly is K-E-L-L-Y. Last name Woods, A-W-O-O-D-S. And Craig is C-R-A-I-G. And Sonis, S-O-N-I-S. So guys, congratulations to you. Please get in touch with us as soon as possible. If you don't get in touch with us within a week, we might ask VRCover.com to see whether we can reuse this to do another uh, competition. And yeah, so do make sure that you are subscribed to the channel also and make sure that you do get in touch with us. Email in the description below also. So Kelly Woods and Craig Sonis, well done. And well done to everyone else who's taken part uh, in the competition. Remember that tomorrow we're going announce how you can enter to win potentially the HP Reverb G2 as well as the Cyber Shoes which are here. A pair of Cyber Shoes all sponsored by HP and Cyber Shoes of course and a 50 US dollar voucher uh, two game keys that you can redeem either on your Meta Oculus Quest store, Viveport or Steam VR store and many more keys as well. Whew. So do make sure to honor your bell bear off subscribe. Guys thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll see you in the comments below in another video very soon. Bye-bye, guys.